the lady that I took care of, Susie, uh, she was like about over 500 pounds. I had been uh, her caregiver for like about six years, and I loved her, and I know she loved me, and, and I know that the kids loved me because I sat with the family at the funeral. The sponge bath would take her like about two hours. You know, because she was such a big woman, it took me and her two sons to lift her stomach up just to get pillows up under her to wash her up. This one particular morning I had got there and uh, usually when I come in, me and the boys, we go straight to walk, giving her that bath. They going out the door. I said, where y'all going? You know we gotta wash your mother up. They said, we'll be back. Because so I went to the bedroom and when I got in there, she, was, uh, she had turned a darker shade. She was like a beige. Her mouth had turned purple and I had felt her cheek and she was real, real cold. So I called my supervisor and my supervisor told me to call 911. So when, when the police got there, uh, they had handcuffed me. So for two weeks until the autopsy came back, the police continued to harass me, continued to call me and ask me questions over and over again. She died of natural causes. She just died in her sleep. And every day I would leave, she would make me promise that I was coming back the next day. You promise you coming back? You promise you coming back? I told her I'm coming back. You